Hey, and so this video is about um, shoes and uh, having shoes that works for a lifetime that they don't go over for a lifetime. And this shoe here is a 14 inches and this shoe here is a 16 inches. And um, the good thing about this shoe, even though it, my foot is measured to be 14 inches, this shoe uh, after a little less than a year, started having holes. Here there's a hole. And here there's a hole. I got the shoes in Grandes Cervaros in Barcelona. Inside here you can see there's a hole. And here, on the other shoes, it ripped apart here. Try to notice how to make it this, this style with the rope. It breaks easier than, than this style. And this style here. So this so this shoe is 16 inches and this one is 14 inches and my foot was measured 14 inches. But I uh, had um, have the idea that if they're bigger they won't um, they won't tear a hole in them. And this Asics uh, and this uh, Timberland the Asics feels more comfortable where I chose a 16 inches instead of um, 16 inches that are 14 inches. You can see the spec on the ASICs is in euro in, in centimeters is 23 uh, 23 centimeters. This is the specs. Yep. I haven't got the box for the Timberland that I bought in Grande Savaros in Barcelona. And this one I bought in Sport 24 in Farum in uh, Denmark. So this this shoe here is, uh, is is look 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 this way 14 inches and this this sole it's very it could be wider but it's very nice and wide and then what you notice here the sole is very thick so even though it breaks apart on top then the sole is actually capable of of um, here it's torn a bit apart right it, al almost one year and maybe t even two years if it didn't have hole in it I think I could wear wear the shoes for two years. Notice that this is very thick, the sole, it could be thicker. I recommend that it's thicker. I really believe that we should study um, how to make um, shoes that last longer. We should really look at our lifetime of, of a lifespan and then try to make shoes that, that works for a lifetime. Now you see this here, the 16 inches is a very good shoe. This feels very good on my foot. Even though it's measured to 14, I want always running to try a bigger one. This one is two inches bigger than the Timberland, and the Timberland is very big in its sizes. Uh, on the here, you can see the the tougher rubber is very thin, so I don't think that this. I think that here the rubber here is the first place the rubber is gonna went here. Uh, could you imagine that they made this one centimeter thick? This thick rubber. One centimeter thick, this thick, then the, uh, the then it would last long. It wouldn't weigh that that much. Um, so this is what, and then I uh, um, wanted to talk about skateboarding. That um, on a surfboard uh, we put um, wax on the board, and um, we, it's even possible to put airs and kickflips. And then um, I was thinking if a sk for a skateboarding shoe. I was I was used to wearing skateboard shoes that were a little bit too small. But for those skateboarders out there listening, try to if you have an extra board, try to not put grip tape on it, but put surf wax on it. Try to search for well, where there's a surf store in Denmark. There's some surf stores. Um, there's dark blue. There's a surf store in Klitmuller. There's West Wind. There's um, surf and ski uh, close to Fellerparken. Um, try to talk to with them if they got wax and try to put wax on top of the surfboard or on top of the skateboard and then try to see if you can kickflip it because then this area where they always wear tear hole or this area where the tear hole you won't wear and tear hole any longer so thank you for listening I can tell you this is two sizes bigger than uh, what my food measured and it's very comfortable it doesn't feel too loose either. It fits the book, the foot much better, and I want to walk more and, and run more with these sort of shoes. So thank you for listening.